Hello and welcome back to another episode of Math with Sewn. Today we are going to be doing the exterior angle theorem where if you have two of the angles inside a triangle, they will add up to the outside angle. Now it is important that the outside angle and the inside angles that it is not this one. It cannot be one of the two inside angles cannot be this guy right here, which is right next to the singular exterior angle. Okay, so it can't be a linear pair with it. And if they are not a linear pair with it, then the question mark and the 50 will add to 115. So that question mark and that 50 degrees will add to the 115. Okay, so then you just solve, then you would subtract the 50. If you subtract 50 from the 115, you get 115 minus 50. We get 65 degrees for this angle right here. Okay, now I'm going to prove it to you why it works in a moment. All right, if we wanted to figure out this angle right here, that angle right here, that would be a linear pair with the 120. So this would be 180 minus 120, which is 60. Okay, I know it's, I know it's that. Now, if I wanted to find this circular angle out a different way, I would have to take both of these two angles and it'd be 180 minus both of those. Well, notice how we have 180 minus both of these angles added together and we have 180 minus the singular exterior angle added together to get that circular little spot right here. Because of that, that must mean that this 120 must equal these right here because it's 180 minus both of these and it's 180 minus the single thing. You're subtracting the same thing to get this, this circle and therefore they must be equal via the uh, transitive property. Anywho, we're gonna do the problem now. If we actually did it the long way, we'd have 180 minus 120, which is 60. And then you could do 60 and 50 and subtract all three of those from 180. But we know that the exterior angle is that this singular exterior angle is equal to the other two added together, which is the question mark and the 50. If we subtract it over, you get the question mark in this case is equal to 70 degrees. All right. So most of the time, the exterior angle theorem is going to just speed things up. All right. And technically it is never actually necessary. So it is going to speed things up. So right here, we know that those are the two interior angles. They must add to equal this singular exterior angle. So if we add 70 and 50 together, we get 120 for that angle. And let's make sure it actually is. If this is 120, then this angle right here would have to be 60 to add to 180. And then does 60 and 120 make a line? Yes, it does. They're both 180. All right, so that's all it is for these. And eventually you're gonna get to problems that involve an X or might look a little funky. So we'll do a few more examples and make sure like you recognize that those are the two exterior angles that would add to the question mark. If I had this angle, let's say it was 40, it would not be 40 and 58 to add to the question mark. It would be 40 and then 180, 40, 140 to make 180. Okay, so this is not the angle you want. You need the other two that don't make the linear pair. The exterior angle is very useful once you start throwing variables in. Okay, so these are the two interior. They must add to the one exterior on the outside of the triangle. We got 30. We got 4x plus 2. They must add together to equal 8 plus 6x. So if we combine like terms, we get 32 plus 4x is equal to 8 plus 6x. Subtract the 8 from both sides. We end up with 24 is equal, not, not equal, plus 4x is equal to 6x. Subtract the 4x over, run out of room almost. We end up with 24 is equal to 2x, so x must be equal to 12. All right, let's keep the trend going. Let's do a few more equations. That one was kind of quick, but most of the geometry part is in the very beginning, the setup. All right, afterwards, it's just solving another, another algebra one problem type thing. Here are the two interior, ex interior angles. They must add to equal that singular exterior. So that means that 5x plus 10 and 58 
must add to 11x plus 2. All right, let's try uh, without solving it. Okay, so let's, let's just keep going through with the setup. These two interior 30 and the 10x minus 10 must add to the 12x minus 4. These two right here, the interiors must add to the exteriors. So you can even flip the order. 120 is the exterior. It must add, equal, excuse me, not add. It must equal the two inside parts added together. All right, so that's what I've been setting up, assuming that you are decent at solving equations. If you're not, I got plenty of videos for those as well, but I wanted to just focus on the geometry for once. We are gonna do some of these at the bottom where you actually have to find an angle so let's find some of these angles out. Here we wanna find angle S, this angle up top. So in order to do that, we need to know what X is. We have angle S and angle T here. Those two are the interior angles. The two interior angles must always add to equal the outside, which in this case was 140. So we got 3X and 8X, that makes 11X. We got four and four, that makes eight. Those combine like terms, we get 140. We subtract, we get 11x is equal to subtract the eight over from 140, you get 132. And then if we divide 132 by 11, you get 12 for x. If x is equal to 12 and you have to find the measure of angle s, then you have to substitute that 12 in right here. Three times 12 plus four ends up being 36 plus four. 36 plus four is 40 degrees would equal the measure of angle S. If you're ever wondering what, the, what does that M stand for? It stands for measure. Okay, what about if we wanted to find angle, measure of angle Y, D, C? Y, then D, then C, we are looking for the angle where the 15X plus four, five is. So we have these two interior angles, guess what they do? They add to equal the exterior one. So we got 80 plus 6x plus 6 equals 15x plus 5. Combine any like terms we got. We got 80, we got 6, we got 86. Plus 6x equals 15x plus 5. Move some things around. We got to subtract the 6x over. So if we subtract the 6x over, you get 86. You could also subtract the 15, but I would prefer to subtract the 6x because 15 can actually subtract 6, and you get 9x plus 5. Subtract the 5, minus 5, minus 5. 81 would equal 9x. You're almost done. You get x equals 9 because you divide by 9. But, again, always make sure that you pay attention. You're not just finding x. We're finding angle y, d, c. That's this angle right here. So we have to plug in the x that we just found to get that 15 times nine plus five. 15 times nine plus five equals 140 degrees. So that means that the measure of angle YDC is 140 degrees. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Until next time, everybody, stay positive and I will see y'all later. Bye.